Hey family, welcome back to our channel. Happy Sunday to you. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a Pure One inspired DIY that you could totally do yourself. I've actually done one last year, I think it was, and I've actually passed it on to daughter. And then I had another one down here in the basement that I actually moved upstairs in the yellow room because it looks better up there. So I decided that I didn't want to pay upwards of $100, even $200 for one of these. So I decided to DIY two of them. And I'm going to show you the one that's complete. I'm going to show you how I done it. And then when you see it again in the tour, it won't actually be in the spot that I'm showing you. I just want to show you how it looks hanging on the wall because it's going to be two of them and they're going to be over there. So let's get started and see what it looks like. Okay, family, this, this is the first thing you're going to do. Two pieces of plywood, okay, from Lowe's, and they were $5.97 a piece. Now, I did go with a fairly thin one, as you can see here. It's not a super thick piece of plywood, but this is going to be perfect for this DIY, okay? Um... So I have two pieces of plywood here. I'll give leave the measurements and all of that stuff down below or later on in this video. Right here, I just have some metallic bright silver paint, which I already had. As you can see, it's almost empty. Hopefully, it'll cover the two of these. So basically, I'm just going to spray paint them completely, the whole thing, and let it dry. And then we can move on to the next step. Okay, family. So look at the fingerprint. You won't see those but here's what the uh, board looks like just slightly spray painted I just basically wanted it to have a background other than the plywood look so I wasn't trying to perfect the spray paint on here because most of it will be covered up anyway so this is what it looks like it's in the house now but let me show you the supplies that I'm going to need and let me show you the other one that I'm actually starting on. Okay, so the supplies that I'm using to do my piece is I have some, I have on gloves because I'm working with the uh, other glass. But these were purchased, these already cut to a perfection square and little rectangles were purchased from Hobby Lobby. And this is what one looks like in the pack. These are round. And these were $2.47 out of the craft section. I'm using these actually for another DIY. But I wanted to show you what they look like in the pack. Now these also came in a pack just like that. And they're perfectly just like little squares on those. Some more there. Then I found some that were a slightly bigger square like those. And again, um, now some of these were like I said 247 but I did find some like this one here was a dollar forty eight um and this one was also a dollar forty eight okay so you're gonna need those but they could totally be optional and I'll show you why in a second um I have some gold metallic spray paint or well, not spray paint just like well actually this is a champagne color spray paint right here that's that but i do have some gold i just need to go get it and then i have this silver which is also from hobby lobby and a little jar i have my paintbrush i have some picture hooks these are from Lowe's. I only paid a dollar and some change for all those that come in the pack. And I'm just going to put adhere these to the back. Now, listen, before you start the actual project, you want to go ahead and adhere these to the back of your piece wherever you want them. So that when you start your piece and it gets complete, you don't want to be having to bang on the other side and maybe disturb your actual art. Okay. Also, what I've done... It's because those right there don't go far, okay? They were still inexpensive, but they don't go far. 
So what I done was I took some of the Dollar Tree mirrors that I had left over, okay? Um, I only used four, actually. And I put them in this bag. I'm using this to actually pick them up, even though I have on gloves. I'm using these to pick them up. Um, so you may need something with some small noses to kind of handle the gas glass, or you can just use your gloves and take your chances. But this is just a trash bag that I put four, I think three or four of the Dollar Tree mirrors in it. And I just banged them up to my liking. Okay? Bang them up, making all different sizes and shapes. And that's why I'm using those to pick them up. So just be careful. Over here is ply board number one. Now, I haven't glued any of this down. I'm just basically doing a dry fit run. Um, so these um, can come back off. Okay? Now, those are the broken pieces that I used the um, uh, hammer on, okay? And now what I'm doing is I'm basically going back and I'm just in like areas like where I feel like it's too much of a gap. I'm just, I'll show you one right here. I just go in and I just find a random little piece. That's the piece that I have. And I may feel like... There's too much space here. So I'm just going to drop it right there like so. And then I'll grab another one just in case, just to show you. And again, these are not actually adhered. Let's say we want to put one there. We'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. Because now on this particular piece, I'm not actually going to be grouting in between these like I did the other DIY last year. I'm not going to do that. So I want these pieces to be really close, which is why I also wanted the background to be silver. So that if you should see it, it would look like it's part of the plan. So larger spaces like so, I'm going to just be filling in with like tiny pieces like that. So that's what it's looking like so far. And again, none of this has been glued down. I'm actually going to be using the hot glue gun, which is another thing I feel like you may need if you want to try this particular one. I'm going to be using the glue gun not only to adhere these little thin pieces of glass, but also to do another design on here to kind of spread out the uh, actual mosaic look. Okay. So that's where I am with it so far. So unfortunately, after I get all the pieces on here and how I like them and whatnot, I will go back and individually pick them up with this and then hot glue them down. I feel like hot glue will definitely hold these thin little glasses in place. I don't think they're, they will move. Now, if you are uncomfortable with doing that, you could totally use E6000 super glue or whatever you choose to use, as well as if you don't like this look, you could totally grout yours in. Just make sure you're using grout that is, uh, does not have sand in it. So you want the sand free grout if you're going to be going over the mirrors. Otherwise, you'll scratch up your mirrors, okay? But I'm liking how this is looking, and I'm going to like it even more when I fill in those gaps and it looks more closer together. So I will come back as I move on to the next step of gluing these down and the next part of it. So just stay tuned. Okay, family. This is where I am so far. I have... Hot glued all these mirrors down. So as you can see, they are not moving. These are the ones that I shattered in the, the Dollar Tree mirrors. Used four of those. Now what I'm doing is I have taken my hot glue gun, as you can see right here. And I've just made some little abstract squiggly lines with the hot glue gun. And basically, no rhyme or reason to it. I just kind of, um, I actually, I'm going to heat up another one. But I just kind of let it drip like that. All in this little section here. Just creating these random little squigglies. And then I'm going to paint them. Either with the gold or the silver or I may even mix it. 
but I just wanted it to have more of a raised look. So I kind of only want the paint to touch the highest point of the um, hot glue. So I'm going to actually wait until the other one right there heats up. And then it's a little bit larger than this one. And then I'm going to put some more uh, squigglies on there. And then I'll come back and show you uh, how I'm going to just kind of dab it on there. Just to give it a little bit more uh, bling or shine or shimmer or whatever you call it. Okay. Okay, fam. So all I've done was mixed the uh, silver... And this actual um, champagne color here, okay? I just mixed them up in this paper plate and I'm stirring them with the straw. And that's the two mixed together and then that's the champagne by itself. I just wanted to try and see which one I liked better or if I like them both together. So I have this sponge, which is just a regular sponge because I just want to try, I'm going to just try... Let's try the silver. I don't know. And I don't want to get a lot on there because I just want to touch the um, raised areas here. So I'm just going to dab, dab, dab it on. I'm sorry, y'all can't see Jack, can you? I just want to dab it on here. on the area that is um hot glue the hot glue area okay because that's what i want to really have the sparkle and i'm not really concerned if it gets down in between because again i have mirror down here and the actual board itself is been painted um the entire thing has been painted silver. It's hard to do with one hand. But this is all I'm doing is just dabbing it on the raised areas. Hoping that um, you can see it. And then I'll have all the rest of that up there to do. But I'll show you what I do up there as well. And do not worry if you get a little bit of glue on the um, mirrors because you can clean them off with Windex. And that, you probably can't really, but that's how it's looking so far. So I'm going to finish that up, um, just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. I more so wanted it for the texture. So not all mirror but more mirror than that but i did want to just give it some texture something different and i kind of like how that actually looks so i'm gonna go ahead and finish playing with the paint on that part of it and then i'll come back and show you what we're going to do down this way okay okay family so i've had i have this little area painted right here with the little uh squigglies and i think i'm going to put another coat on it even though it doesn't really need one but anyway, the next step that I'm going to do in mine is I'm going to go ahead and start adding these, uh, the actual cut towels that I got from Hobby Lobby. I haven't put them on there yet. I just kind of am dry fitting them, which is probably something you want to do. Just dry fit them to see, you know, if they all fit on there good or how they look. If you want to go ahead and commit to this or what. So right now, this is where I am with it. And... It may change. I don't know. But you do yours however you choose. I'm just sharing with you how I, I'm constructing mines. And so right now I'm just standing back looking at this. Saying if, hmm, do I want to keep it? Do I want to do something different? Or what have you. But anyway, that's the step that I'm at right now, family. I'm loving how this is really turning out, to be honest. I think this probably is my most favorite part so far. But once it's all done, it's going to be humongous, as you can see. And I'll leave the measurements to it um, at the end of the video, just in case you're curious. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, fam, it is complete. And again, very simple, plywood, break up some glass, buy some glass if you choose. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. And you definitely don't have to do this one the way I did it. 
Now, um, I will say, please make sure you hang your brackets on the back first if you do decide to use plywood, okay? All I'm doing now is waiting for it to just set for a second, just kind of set everything, get still and set, and then I'm going to go and clean these individual glass pieces, mirror pieces, and then we will hang it up so that we can see what it looks like on the wall but this is the finished product of what it looks like right now and I'll measure it also and tell you what it is when we hang it up okay fam so this is my um, DIY mosaic panel if you will this one is actually 48 inches long by 24 inches in what's well, 48 inches wide okay by 24 inches tall so nice size panel okay give or take um <clears throat> and i will show you exactly how i done it but this is how it looks and i actually have it hanging on the wall in between the two mirror i mean the two windows however it will not stay here because i'm actually starting to work on the second one and it will go over here behind me on the wall where the black and white art used to be but this was very easy to make and very inexpensive. I will say that the cost of two of them, the two of them that I'm going to make, and again, they're 48 by 24 inches, um, I would not have paid nowhere near $40 to make the two of these, two of them. I think it turned out great. I absolutely love it. Again, you do not have to, if you're interested in making you one, save yourself a couple hundred dollars. You don't have to make it exactly like this one. The sky's the limit with these things, and it's so relaxing. It's just basically broken glass, and you'll see it in the tutorial of actually how I uh, done it. And I love it. Like, I love, look how blingy it is. I also play it with texture again. As you can see right here, the little squigglies. I'll show you how I did those. And I actually mixed gold and silver together. And blotched it on there with a sponge to get that color that's on that part. So, actually, when you see them again, they'll be hanging upright the long ways. And they'll be side by side. And I'm going to make them slightly different so that it won't be looking too identical. But you would definitely get the picture that I'm trying to uh, give when you see them again. So, this is my DIY. Stay tuned to see how I actually create it in case you're interested in doing one. And again, the both of them together, I know I didn't, it didn't cost me $40 to make two of these super large DIY Pier 1 inspired panels. Love, love, love. And I'll show you what it looks like. Kind of, and, I, and I did not grout this. There's no grout in these whatsoever. Let me show you on this side. No grout, okay. I chose not to do grout on these because I wanted it to look it looks like grout, and you'll see why in the tutorial when I show you why it has that look in the back like um, grout. But there's no grout whatsoever. Very easy to hang. It's not heavy at all. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. As always, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Again, I realize everything ain't for everybody, and that is completely fine with me. I love of all of your uh, opinions, your advice, your ideas. What do you think? Um, and so just leave them down below and let me know what you think, okay? Okay, fam, so that's it for this DIY. I hope you enjoyed it, got something from it. If you are looking to use it in your space, I don't know. I absolutely love how it turned out, and I cannot wait to complete the other one so that I can hang them in their appropriate place. Today is Sunday, so happy Monday to you starting tomorrow. Hope you have a wonderful week. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Do not let anyone dictate your mood this week. Have a fabulous week. You make the week fabulous, okay? Stay prayed up. Do something good for yourself, family, and do something good for somebody else. Girl, look at that. Mm, so much money saved. Bye, y'all.